Have you noticed that the cost of groceries keeps going up and up and up? And it's not slowing down anytime soon. According to the USDA, in 2024, all food prices are predicted to increase 2.9%. But the good news is that it's still cheaper to cook at home rather than eating out or ordering in from restaurants. But how can we make the most of our weekly food budget? Recently, I cut my monthly grocery bill in half, and yet I still eat mostly organic. I buy wild fish, as well as pasture-raised eggs and meat. How is this possible? I'm gonna share with you 10 tips for saving money on groceries. Tip number one, take inventory. Before going shopping, take inventory of what you already have on hand. I like to think of this as shopping in your own pantry. Create a menu to use up items you already have. This helps to avoid buying things you don't really need. Tip number two, stay focused when grocery shopping. Make a grocery list to take along with you when you go shopping. This can minimize impulse purchases of groceries and help you to stay within your grocery budget. Try to shop alone whenever possible. If you're a mom, you already know what I'm talking about. Somehow lots of unplanned items end up in our shopping carts thanks to our little helpers. Side note, don't ever shop when you're hungry. Hello, chocolate bar. It's also helpful to shop at times when the grocery stores are less busy. Between the music and the crowds, it can be a distraction when you're trying to read labels and make good choices. Tip number three, minimize convenience items. Instead of buying convenience items like frozen dinners, canned soup, and packaged snacks, you can prepare your own homemade versions by making extra portions of meals and soups that can be frozen. Another great money saver is to make my own beverages. So making homemade herbal tea lightly sweetened with a little maple syrup is cheaper than buying lots of fruit juice or other prepared drinks. Hibiscus is one of my favorite herbal teas. And instead of buying packaged chicken stock, I make my own homemade from scratch, which is a great way to use up chicken bones that I keep in my freezer. And it's very nutritious too. Plus it doesn't have all the other additives that I don't want in my chicken broth. I even sometimes make my own non-dairy milk. This is a milk I made out of rice, mung beans, and a little bit of a grain called millet. I lightly sweetened it with maple syrup. And rather than spending lots of money on these probiotic drinks, which are really great for your gut, it's so easy to make your own homemade probiotic water and enzyme drinks like I have here. In the large jar, I've got apples and pears that have been fermenting in water for a few days, and this is my fruit enzyme water. And in the smaller jar, this is a recipe for probiotic water that I got from Clean Food Living. I'll put a link to that video in the description. I love how this saves me money on buying probiotics. You can basically just put probiotic capsule contents in here with some water and a tiny bit of sweetener, and you create your own probiotic water. So these drinks are really helpful for gut health and digestion, and they're easy to make. Tip number four, bake at home. When you do your own baking, rather than buying store-bought cookies, muffins, pies, etc., not only is it less expensive, but it's better quality. With homemade baking, you can use good quality ingredients and avoid the preservatives and inflammatory seed oils that are often found in store-bought desserts. Each week as part of my meal prep, I make a batch of either some homemade cookies or a seasonal fruit crisp. And if you regularly buy bread, there are lots of great recipes to make bread homemade as well. Tip number five. Store your food properly. Some produce naturally stays fresher longer, such as carrots, winter squash, and cabbage. Keep onions and potatoes longer by storing them in a dark, cool place like the basement. Some produce bags, like the Debbie Meyer green bags, can help to keep produce stay fresh longer. Vegetables like herbs, lettuce, celery stay fresher longer when wrapped in a damp paper towel. Tip number six, fill up on plant-based ingredients. Beans, grains, potatoes, and pasta are filling and inexpensive ingredients. Lentils, chickpeas, black-eyed peas, rice, oatmeal, and millet are all examples of beans and grains that can really help to bulk up meals. Get creative by adding cooked lentils to a meatloaf or make a batch of chili using extra beans in place of some of the meat. You could also make burgers that have cooked rice or beans added to them. Whenever possible, I prefer to use dried beans over canned beans. They're cheaper and often tastier if you cook them properly. Just be sure to soak them and cook them long enough to make them digestible. When I cook beans, I make extra and freeze a portion like these chickpeas. Enjoying vegetarian meals a few times a week or at least adding more plant-based ingredients to your menus will help stretch your grocery budget. Tip number seven, buy in bulk. 
I like to purchase certain items in bulk to save even more. I don't go too crazy here because I have a smaller kitchen and not too much storage area, but I like to buy bags of frozen fish fillets, larger bags of rolled oats, and bagged apples and pears. H Mart and Indian grocery stores are wonderful resources for large quantities of rice that are reasonably priced. Larger jugs of maple syrup are often less money per ounce than smaller bottles. So buying in bulk is a great way to get more for your money. Tip number eight, shop around. Invest a little time in looking for the best prices. See if you can find some good coupons and sales on items that you use regularly and consider shopping at stores that offer price matching to get the best deals. I prefer to buy high quality proteins and organic produce, which are typically more expensive, but I've discovered seven stores and online options that help to save money even on organic groceries. Aldi is a discount supermarket chain with over 12,000 stores in 18 countries. Every week I buy certain organic produce items at Aldi, such as kale, baby potatoes, broccoli, romaine lettuce, pears, and apples. They also carry grass-fed ground beef, maple syrup, frozen wild fish, frozen organic vegetables, pasture-raised eggs for under $5, gluten-free pasta, Irish butter, ghee, and frozen organic fruit. Their prices are so reasonable, and Aldi has been recognized in the industry for providing outstanding prices. At Walmart, I found competitively priced organic lemons, onions, salad greens, dried herbs, canned tuna, flour, celery, lettuce, bags of apples, and olive oil. Trader Joe's is another great resource for lower priced natural foods. I often pick up carrots, frozen organic riced cauliflower, green beans, maple syrup, olive oil, dried fruit, salad greens, and gluten-free pasta at Trader Joe's. While you're there, if you need any greeting cards, they have a great selection for much less than you'd pay anywhere else. Sometimes I also shop at ShopRite, and they carry organic carrots, herbal tea, cauliflower, grapes, fresh herbs, juices, celery, green beans, and many other organic and natural groceries at decent prices. Whole Foods is generally more expensive than other stores I mentioned, but if you look for sales, these can help to save, and they have good bulk items. And I like their line of 365 products, like the apple juice, olive oil, shampoo, and laundry soap. At my local store, they also carry unique items like sprouted rolled oats, fresh organic corn tortillas, and pasture-raised beef hot dogs. Of course, we're all too familiar with Amazon. Amazon is great for ordering dried herbs in bulk and larger quantities of maple syrup. I recently rediscovered Thrive Market and realized that they now carry pasture-raised chicken at the lowest prices I've ever seen. They also carry many other organic and natural groceries at reduced prices. If you wanna give Thrive Market a try, I'll put a link below this video so you can receive a 40% discount off your first order. Tip number nine is grow your own herbs. Did you know that you can regrow produce from store-bought vegetables like celery and scallions? Scallions, for example, can be cut off a few inches from the bottom, placed in a glass or vase of water, and within a week or two, you'll have grown a whole new bunch of usable scallions, which means you just doubled your money. Pretty cool, right? I have a whole video dedicated to this topic, so I'll link it below. And then I also like to keep my own basil plant on hand rather than spending money on a little plastic clamshell of basil that just goes like that. When you have your own plant on a windowsill, it's easy to grow and you just snip off what you need and it just keeps on going. You have an endless supply of basil. I also like to grow mint and other herbs on my windowsill. Mint grows like crazy and it's so nice to add little sprigs to a drink or herbal teas or certain dishes like Middle Eastern cooking. And my last tip, Tip number 10, make a meal plan. Sticking to a meal plan will help you know exactly what ingredients you need for the week. Making a shopping list based on your meal plan will avoid unnecessary purchases or impulse buying at the grocery store. Make a list of recipes that use low cost ingredients like stir fries, chili, fried rice, beans and rice, and curries. If adding meat, using smaller portions will help to stretch your grocery budget. And I also wanna mention that if you're financially struggling right now, ask for help. Hardship can happen to anyone, and there's nothing wrong with getting help. Over 13.1 million children in the U.S. are experiencing what is known as food insecurity, which means that they don't have enough to eat. 21% of children in the U.S. are being raised primarily by single moms, and despite being employed, single mothers still experience high rates of food insecurity. If you need help, visit your local food bank or food pantry. Your county assistance office can help as well. I hope you found this video helpful and that you learned some new ways to save money on groceries. What's your favorite way to save money on groceries? 
leave a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.